So I've been subscribing to a lot of the big Russian YouTubers trying to translate go through and the Russian heavy tank line is going to be coming out in 8.4 and there's some really exciting things to look forward to. Um, you've got the 60 TP at the top of the line at tier 10 with a really derpy cannon. Unfortunately as we know and as we have heard it's not as derpy as we were expecting like it to have something similar to the average damage of the E100 or the VK72. However, it still is pretty good, averaging about 600 damage compared to the 640 that the E100 does. It has a really good turret, so still very strong. Very strong upper glacial armor. Still has that weak lower glacial plate, which is expected. And I was kind of surprised because some of the tanks that it was comparing it to in Blitzhanger was tanks like the Object 260 um, or the T95E6, whereas the cannon is very similar to the E100 and the VK72, as mentioned. And not just in terms of similar damage, it's in between in terms of dpm the 60 tp's dpm is right in between what the e100 and the vk72 is and also having seven degrees of gun depression just like the vk72 and the e100 now the tier 9 tank uh, the polish the 50 tp is also going to have a pretty good turret it doesn't have as good of lower glacial armor however it is pretty sloped and to blitz hangar it compared it closest to the ae phase one or the k91 still having a higher derpyish average damage cannon which is still pretty good that upper glacial plate being very strong lower glacial still once again the classic weak spot but pretty good turret and good maneuverability so now looking at and just from what i was understanding from translating some of the uh, russian as well is the tier 7 and the tier 8 don't have very good holes it doesn't have as good of a upper glacial plate and can be quite easily penetrated for most other heavy tanks uh, or tank destroyers so you want to keep that hull very well protected it still will have a pretty good frontal turret and the gun depression is fairly similar across all of the polish heavies ranging anywhere from about seven degrees eight degrees so it does fluctuate a little bit and for the tier seven and tier eight polish heavies they do have slightly derpyish cannons than the Tiger 1 and the Tiger 2. About 10 more average damage, so it is a little bit more. You can almost relate the average damage more to the Tier 8 Emil for the Polish Tier 8 Heavy. And then for the Tier 7 one, it's got about 10 more maybe average damage. Uh, on its shot compared to the Tiger one. So great pictures here. I'm really excited for them. I think they're going to be a great addition to the game. And they may kind of have a little bit of a similar feel to the IS series type tanks uh, like the Russian ones. Um, but just with some slight differences. So good tank. Tanks that have been mentioned uh, will be coming out in update 8.4. Love the HD graphics that they're doing. Now, personally, I do wish that the 60 TP did have that higher average damage like it does in World of Tanks PC. And in Blitz, it would have had that 640 average damage like the 100 or VK72. But honestly, the 600 average damage that Blitz is potentially giving it upon release, I actually think is pretty cool because it does add a little bit of a layer of uniqueness to the game. 600 average damage is like no other heavy tank in the game. Um, or tank destroyer, any other tank, no other tank has 
that average damage. So it is very, very derpy. And there are tanks that have a little bit more derp to them, like the IS-7 compared to the IS-4 or E-5, and also the AMX Mali 54. That also is a little bit more on that derpy scale, but this one is now even higher than that still, being still a good amount of average damage and very derpy per shot. And it doesn't have as good as DPM as the E100, but a little bit better than the VK72 and has a better reload. So once again, hopefully this was quite interesting. I'm excited for this. This is the muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.